right, so here he is, Suri Nobbs Jarzinho Rosenstrike, the first man or woman from his nation to compete on the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. And this guy's done a whole lot more than compete since transitioning from kickboxing. He's been undefeated as a mixed martial artist. He was the UFC's Rookie of the Year in 2019. Alistair Overeem's got a story about this man's power, and perhaps tonight's opponent will have one to tell after the festivities tonight. Jarzinho Rosenstrike, Biggie Boy, is back for more tonight. DC, here he is, the one, the only, don't call him Kevin Ferguson, he of course is Kimbo Slice, and when you're talking about mixed martial arts and its footprint in the United States of America, Kimbo Slice is a guy who deserves a lot of credit for this mass expansion, at least a mom. Absolutely, because when Kimbo Slice fought, people tuned in from the Ultimate Fighter to his days outside of the UFC. Some of the biggest TV ratings we've ever experienced are attributed to Kimbo Slice. He's a guy that people just want to see. From the backyard brawls to the octagon, Kimball Slice is very special. And probably the nicest guy you would ever want to meet, except look like it. when that octagon door <laughs> he doesn't closes. doesn't look like exactly. it, but he is a great guy. Kimbo Slice, ready to engage yet again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Yezinho Biggie Boy Rosenstrike. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, early round action here. Biggie Boy Jorginho Rosenstrike has talked to us a lot about getting off to a better start. He is an outstanding counter striker, but sometimes you've got to force the issue. And Rosenstrike told us, to a man, to a woman, I got to get aggressive here tonight. Early round action here. Captain Hook lands on the kickboxer. Beautifully timed and placed there. And a strong way to start on the feet. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook is a very good shot that can land against a guy with that tight high guard. Oh, oh big diving punch to the head. Like that. Left hook has been there at times, not that time. He's able to slip the left. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Rosen strikes hook shot blocked though by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Oh! Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. 
Now he's back up. Oh. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Rosenstruck. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up. And oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, Rosen strikes cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see. The uppercut flails and misses. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Fighter lands a nasty kick. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on. Whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, oh my god, it's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, I mean, how about those last five minutes? Are you kidding me? All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking to the huddle. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, round two. All right, doing work with the jab. Nice shot there by the champ. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! There it is again. Look at that. Slips the punch. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen. This is crazy round of fighting. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. It seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. I'm trying to kick the leg out. 90 seconds now to go in the round.
Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.